There are some amazing stories out there in the world of forever. I wanted just to share this with you. In April of 2016, Suzuki-san went from an employee to hero, acting in a way that goes beyond a simple job description. Takao was at home with his wife and two children just after 9 p.m. on April 14th, when a loud noise and big shake tore through his apartment. It was a 6.4 magnitude earthquake, the most severe shock ever recorded on the island of Kyushu at the time. Takao's first instinct was to rush downstairs to make sure his family was safe as the tremors came and went in waves. Takao took to social media to reach out to every single FBO in the region. Thankfully, they all responded one by one to let him know they were alive and safe. Still, the aftershocks continued into the next day and Takao decided to move his family into his Prius, his car, in the parking lot to be away from any structures until things calmed down. Not even 48 hours later, the ground underneath Kumamoto gave way again. No one could tell at the time, but the 7.1 magnitude earthquake that struck just after 1 a.m. would change the scenery of the city completely. Takao would soon have a sense that the worst had happened as the panic calls from FBOs started coming in. One business owner told him she had just ran out of her house afraid and was unsure of where to go. After a long night, the sunrise revealed the state in which this quake had left the region. Miraculously, all of the FBOs in the region survived. Suddenly, suzuki Sun's job took on completely a new importance. He made daily emergency product kits deliveries with a heavy helping of emotional support, crying and mourning, laughing and healing with his team members. For those who lost everything, he was determined to make sure forever support and love remained stronger than ever. In a time when so many froze in a panic of what to do next, Suzuki-san kept moving. He provided the first joyful moments in a long road to recovery and put aside his own fears to tend to whatever his community needed. And amazingly, he did all the work while his family lived out of their tiny car for six weeks. Suzuki-san never so much as made a mention of his own situation to the FBOs he was helping or to the Forever Japan Home Office. His amazing display of sacrifice is proof that some bonds are strong enough to withstand seismic shifts. This is the kind of story that you get in Forever. And we hope that you have the opportunity to read through all of the stories. Remember that feeling you had when you first joined Forever. Let it be new again. Renew yourself. Let you understand that you can go out and be a hero to many, many people in this world today. Mm -hmm.